Okay, end of week six. Um, I say this every time, but this one will be quite a bit shorter um, because I don't really have any updates for you. I would say the biggest thing that I've noticed this last week is I have been probably more off diet than on diet. And I have not gained weight, if anything. I weighed myself today halfway through the day, so I had already had a bunch of water. I didn't eat anything, but I had already had a bunch of water. Um, and I was 0.6 pounds less than what I was the last time I weighed in, which was right in the morning, um, to, you know, no clothes. <laughs> and so I was still 0.6 below that today um, with clothes and already had water. So that made me feel really good. It's very encouraging to see that. Um, I do plan to move forward with being more strict on myself. Um, I've had some outings and dinner parties and events to go to where I've just eaten out. Um, and then this it's Sunday night right now, but this upcoming weekend is a wedding that I'm going to, and it's going to be kind of an all weekend thing. And then on that next Monday, I have a work dinner to go to. And so the next weekend is going to be tough as well, but through the weeks I've been doing really good. I have food for lunches. I have food for dinner. Um, it's just on the weekends that it gets a little tough. Uh, so after this next upcoming weekend and the wedding, I, plan to get back to being strict. Um, I have noticed that it's gotten boring uh, and I miss having more full meals, I would say. Um, not in the sense of being full by the amount of food I eat, but more in the sense of like a salad, an entree, and a side, like a bowl of fruit or some french fries or... Um, or the salad or veggies or something like that. I do miss having the the full round diet. But um, other than that, I mean, it makes lunches and dinners fairly easy if you know how to cook and what you like to cook. I've been pretty stuck on burger patties with some cheese on them, um, chicken. I just got some chicken wings, so I will be doing those this upcoming week. I'm excited. Pork has gotten less and less something that I eat regularly. I don't know. It The last time I had it, it was tasted super sweet. So I'll, I'm steering clear of that for a little while. Mornings typically include a piece or two of bacon or some homemade sausage um, with an egg or two. And then I'll have some of my homemade cold brew with some heavy whipping cream. But then the rest of the day, I'm usually good. After that, I'm usually good until 2.30 or 3.00. And then I need to eat something, which is either some steak bites or a burger patty. And then by the time I'm home, I'm, I usually can survive on just like a chicken wing or two. <laughs> and then I take my potassium before I go to bed. And then I just wake up and repeat. So it does get pretty repetitive and boring. But uh, the results I'm seeing are worth it. Um, I did not get my dimensions today just because I had a late start to the morning and even when I weighed myself, I should have done it earlier in the morning. Um, so I didn't even really weigh myself properly, which is why I was still impressed that I was 0.6 pounds down still. Um, but I need to, I want to measure when I know that I'll have, I know that I've changed. I need to do my measurements anyway. It's just also hard when you're doing them on yourself, but I will get those soon. Um, yeah, I'm still sleeping really well. Um, my muscles feel like they're getting better. Uh, oh, that was the other thing. So the thing about the cheating and the cheating that I have done is when I've gone out, um, like with friends to dinner, uh, it's almost been not worth it. It's unimpressive and you just kind of, you leave feeling bloated and not as great. And it wasn't even really worth it for the flavor. When I went out, I had this fried chicken sandwich and like it had condiments on it and it had the bread and I was super excited and I was really unimpressed. And it was, I didn't even finish the half that I had cut off. And so maybe it's because I'm not finishing all of my cheat meals, but <laughs> I mean, I even had pizza um, and I had a couple of slices of pizza and it wasn't amazing so it wasn't uh really worth the cheat i think the main thing that i've had 
recently that was worth the cheat was a burger that we made from home with the sandwich and just some light condiments on it that made it so good. So, yeah, I would say my other hard thing is, is whenever we do go out, I always tend to get a soda, which I need to not do because that's probably the highest the worst thing I could do so but the whole the cheating thing and it not being worth it has what I've is what I've probably learned most and my mom has said the same thing so um yeah that would be my note out there if you're gonna cheat make sure it's worth it so that's my little note there um the other thing that I haven't done I haven't done any real physical activity while being on this diet in the last six weeks. Um, the first couple videos that we watched in the very beginning of this was to get out and be active for 30 minutes a day. Like, um, and not like a run or anything, but a get out there and for 30 minutes a day, at least get to the point where it's a little hard to talk while you're doing whatever you're doing. Like you're so... Your breathing's just not as slow as it would be for you to talk regularly. So like just going up and down the stairs, you're going to get a little winded <laughs> or just a brisk walk or a bike ride or something. And I haven't been doing that. So it is a goal of mine to get on doing that. I just, I have a, and these are just excuses, but I have a long drive to work and back. And so I did leave at like 745 and I get home at like 7 if I'm lucky. So it's hard to uh, find time in the morning or when I'm home and just want to relax and go to bed. <laughs> so that'll be a goal of mine. Um, whether it be, I actually thought it would be really fun to get a jump rope. So I might need to just go online and order a jump rope. So we'll see how that goes. Um, also, I'm impressed with myself because I remembered to do this before I washed my face. I was getting ready to wash my face because I just want my mascara off so I can rub my eyeballs. <laughs> and then I was like, ah, the video. So that's kind of my update here. Everyone's, when I started this, everyone asked how long I would be doing it. And I was like, six weeks, six weeks, six weeks. And, uh, it's been six weeks and I'm sticking to it. I definitely feel more encouraged that I have still lost weight yet. I have managed to eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it and sectioned it out. I'm not encouraging going out and eating every weekend. Um, but once or twice a month, like just, it's okay. It's okay. I'm excited to see what happens when I do start being more physically active because <laughs> that will help a lot. Um, I just have a hard time doing that with my time and I've had two ankle surgeries, so it's a little tough for me, but no excuses, right? So anyway, well, I was right. This video is a little shorter than my last couple, but I've managed to somehow talk through eight minutes, which just always shocks me. But I guess that's what happens so all right well I mean I hope this has helped or at least been entertaining <laughs> uh, if you have any questions or comments you can comment them below uh, yeah good luck out there <laughs>